Alright, alright, here is your boy, the A1 Reindeer. We are out here slaying the day. Uh, I just want to say, you know, Christopher Columbus was not Santa Claus. I'm Santa Claus. You're snow. Um, but I just want to tell everyone that you're on the naughty list. If you're bad, if you're bad, you're on the naughty list. You're getting coal. If you're a hater, you're a faker. You're gonna get coal. Look at me. Look at this. This ain't red. This black. The only thing red is your nose. Your nose is red. You're on the naughty list. You're, you're not getting nothing for Christmas. Hopefully everyone's having a great day. This is your boy. A1 Solution. And uh, we just chilling out here, man. I just wanted to, to show you my little, you know, my little costume, you know what I'm saying? Like... I'm an animal. And uh, I'm, I'm hoping everyone has a good Halloween. Uh, thank you to everyone who has supported my videos and watched my videos. Supported, liked them, all that stuff. Checked them out, whatever. Uh, you know, um, I'm, I'm thankful to be here where I'm at. Um, I'm happy to the people that have stopped by to watch my videos. Um, it means the world to me, you know what I mean? Sometimes, you know, some things we're not gonna agree on, you know what I mean? Not gonna, gonna, you know, uh, meet at the same spot. But, you know, at the end of the day, I, I appreciate the people that actually, you know, disagree, but... Still come in with a, you know, calm and collective and, you know, peaceful agreement to disagree. I really do appreciate that so much, man. It means the world to me. Like, you have no idea. Like, people think, like, YouTube is, you know, just some type of, like, you know, hey, let's just make some videos and it's easy, blah, blah, blah. Not really. Um, and also, at the same time, some people do it because maybe it is easy. I don't know. I don't know. But for me, I've found a lot of stress, a lot of struggle from, you know, trying to, you know, create a community. I, I want to create a community, but I just don't think that's, like, what's happening. I just, you know, I feel like people are, like, slowly drifting away from my channel and not wanting to watch as much and stuff like that. And I don't know why. Like, you know, I, I'm always down for people to comment things they want me to, like, you know, talk about and stuff like that. Because me, like, I normally talk about things that I like talking about but if anyone has like anything that's like you know interesting you know something that's like you know that's you know you know a topical thing that's trending you know what I mean I, I don't like following trends but it seems to me that YouTube likes following trends I feel like the algorithm likes that because if you're if you're talking about something I mean you got to be like popular to you know talk about older things you know what I mean um, and, uh, I've tried, and I've tried to talk about some things, and, you know, I did want to share, uh, actually, I'll talk about it here, actually, you know what, I will, um, this is Elton Castell's first ever seance, so in, the, so I, the reason why I didn't drop the video is because, uh, there's, there's a company that, you know, that's very greedy, and, you know, um, it's, it's alright, it's alright, it doesn't matter. But long story short, so what happened was, is Elton got a girl, a lady, to, you know, kind of do a seance for them. Um, speaking of seances, I'm actually going to be doing my first ever seance soon. So I just want to throw that out there, so. So, ha, 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 ha. It's going to be crazy, dude. Me and my girlfriend are going to be, uh, you know, doing it over the phone. Um, obviously some can believe that or not, but, um, I got candles, she has candles, and we're, she has a pendulum and stuff like that, and, you know, we're gonna, uh, do our little thing, so if anyone s watches this video, like a real one, comment down below, do you want to see my seance? I mean, I might even share some of it anyways, I might share some of it. This is, uh, Elton Castell's first ever seance, so he, he hires that lady, she, she kind of talks to them and stuff like that, you know, they kind of get prepped up, and... You know what I mean? And then, you know, they kind of talk about certain things, the history of the place, the Penhurst stuff, right? And then they get to the seance, and then they do a seance. And then, you know, the lady's like, hey, like, Elton, are you okay? Like, you look, like it looks like you're kind of, like, you know, feeling something. And Elton's like, you know, like, yo, like, my back is, you know, hurting and stuff like that, right? And then, uh, 
and then after that, you know, they kind of they kind of chat and stuff like that, and they say, you know, once I'm, she the the lady says, you know, once I'm gone, you know, like you know, I'm not gonna be able to help you guys. But before actually before that too as well is they actually had an experience where they talked about Dybbuk boxes, and Corey Shear was like, yo, like Elton has like 13 Dybbuk boxes, and then Elton's like, no, I actually got two, and then Corey Shear was like, yo, like yeah, probably because you 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 freaking burnt the other 10 or whatever, right? So, and then, then they get to the seance, right? The whole seance, and then they do a whole seance, and then she leaves, like I said, right? And then, uh, Elton Caste does his seance, right? And he has a Dybbuk box, this, like, little box that, you know, fills you, fill your energy into it and all that stuff, right? And, uh, you know, they do that, they sit around, and then Elton's talking about how he's gonna open it at 3.07 inside of the seance circle. And everyone's like, yo, like, if we're inside the seance circle, what's gonna happen if we open this, right? So everyone starts freaking out, right? Everyone starts freaking out, and, uh, Elton opens it up at 3.07. You know, they all walk out, they all, they do, they blow out their candle, you know what I mean? They go outside the protection circle. For me, I would've stayed inside the circle, because if you're inside of a protection circle, you would think that that's protecting you from the Dybbuk box, and the Dybbuk box is gonna, like, you know... You know, protect you from, or the the circle is gonna protect you from the Dybbuk box. You know what I mean? Because you're supposed to be inside of it, not outside of it. And I think that's why Elton was like, "Yo, like, why are you guys going outside of it?" And that's, I think that's why Elton kind of like took out the candles because he was like, "Then there's no point to even have a circle." So he's just like, "You know what? I'm gonna just close it, right?" And then you know, Elton opens it. You know what I mean? He opens. Uh, well, before he closes the circle, he opens it and he starts burning it with the can candle and stuff like that. And then there was a candle uh, closer, which I was kind of getting to there, right? And you can you can kind of like take out the flame, you know what I mean? Just put the little thing, the little, I don't I don't know what you call them, but you like take out the flame of the candles, right? And then uh, you know as you know um, time bro brews on, you know they kind of like talk and stuff like that. They do a little thing, and uh, and then Corey Shear goes off to by himself, and he's kind of sitting. And then you know Elton and um, Corbin and all them, <clears throat> they follow him. They follow him. Sorry, my, my voice. Uh, they follow him, and then uh, they kind of talk and stuff like that. They're, like, you know, kind of debating back and forth, like, what just happened? And, uh, like, one of like, are we going to be haunted? Is this going to affect us in life? Like, is this, is this going to affect us 20 days from now, a year from now, two years from now? And then Elton's like, yo, like, yeah, that's life. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, they kind of just had their little little battle. But that's pretty much... You know, their first, very first uh, seance. This was after uh, the Lighthouse series, right? So, um, you know, I just wanted to talk about that because I was going to share it. But the freaking music had some issues with that. So I was like, you know what? Why not just talk about it and do a little brief intermission and share with you here as a, as a reindeer. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's cold out here. I got to go back to Santa Claus. Um, but... Uh, you know, I, I just I just appreciate everyone for supporting my channel. And, you know, I do feel like people, you know, don't want to watch some of my videos. And it's actually a shame because I, I see other people with, you know, getting views and stuff like that. But some people have higher subscribers. So obviously that's going to happen, right? If you have like 60, 100,000 subscribers and you get a few thousand on a video, sure. Makes sense. But it just... uh. It just sucks that, you know, some people don't want to watch some of my videos. I feel like some are pretty fun to watch or cool to watch or some gaming stuff. I drop some gaming videos, you know what I mean? Um, but I do appreciate everyone, man. You know, e even though some people don't want to watch some of my stuff, you know what? I, I appreciate it. And I, I and I think it's probably because I said some controversial stuff about the debunkers. And, you know, I, I am sorry about that, man. But, you know, I, um, calling someone fake and, you know, all this stuff, like, that's in a way defamation to me and I talked about that a couple times about like you know a few things but you know I, I dropped that and I don't talk about that no more because I feel like it's just it hurts the person's character you know what I mean and I don't want that that's not who I am you know what I mean and I get you know people want the truth and all that stuff but like I, I legit don't see no proof of anything you know what I mean um, I don't see nothing I don't see nothing and I just see people trying to find the best evidence and you know, want to do it for entertainment, whatever, you know what I mean? Whatever the, whatever the case is, you know what I mean? Um, I'm just, I'm just here to be peaceful, you know what I mean? I'm here to just love my community, grow a community, 
Um, you know what I mean? And I don't have, like, channel members and stuff like that. Is that a reason why people don't support me? Because I don't have, like, channel member stuff, whatever. Um, I mean, I will do it. I mean, the only reason why I'm not doing it is because I want to grow a community first. Or maybe, maybe, maybe am I doing it backwards? Was I supposed to do community memberships, whatever? I, I just, I didn't, because I, I wanted to show people that I don't care about the money. I care more about the people. And communicating and talking and talking about things, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, I've just seen so much negativity in my comments, and some people just don't even defend that, man. Like, they don't even, like, defend me. It's, it's, it's crazy, man. Like, I've always, like, every single person that's been negative to someone positive in my comments, I always defended. You know what I mean? Even, I don't even know these people that are being positive to me, but I felt like they were being really genuine, and I liked that. And I defended them, you know what I mean? Throughout all my comments. I commented on every single video, you know what I mean? And uh, I do know it's October, so I do know people are busy. I do know these next couple months people will be busy, right? So, I mean, may maybe if I drop content, like, less, like, maybe every few few days or something like that, would people be more interested in that? Because <laughs> I do drop a lot of videos. Um, do you want me to drop videos like maybe just a bunch of information in one video? Do you want that? Or are you tired of like me dropping like, you know, videos on the spurs of the moment and just random video, you know, like the not random, but you know, just small introverts of videos. Do you do you like one big video or smaller ones? I'm, I'm assuming not smaller ones because, you know, I do post a lot, man. I post every single day, man. And I'll tell you one thing, man. I I'm going to be doing a seance soon. Um, I am going to be getting into paranormal and stuff like that with my girlfriend. And, you know, we're going to be, you know, making content. And me, like, I'm super passionate about paranormal. I've been watching paranormal and travel vlogs. And I also played a lot of video games growing up. You know what I mean? And I love I love the whole paranormal because, you know, when, when my grandma passed away, I was, you know, always speaking to her and... Wondering if she hears me and you know, I always I feel I feel something weird sometimes and I when I think about her or when I talk about her or my uncle You know, I just feel tingly. I feel that a, a weird call It's really weird to explain man because I know some people don't believe that that stuff man, but you know to each his own right but the one thing about paranormal is I think I'm, a, I'm gonna be a very good voice You know, I, I love history you know and I mean I love history and I love just Finding out these things, finding places, and, you know, I got places in my city, you know, my town or whatever, um, that I can investigate and stuff like that, and, you know, stuff in Oregon and stuff like that, you know, and, you know, I just want to, you know, I want to create content that brings people together, man, and, uh, that's one thing why I like content creators, you know what I mean, content creators that are, like, you know, talkative to their community, because these people, they really do help these you know, fans or community, whatever, um, people that watch and stuff like that, like, these people really do help and make their day better, and that's something I want to do, and, you know, I, I know I do that for some, like, Telly and my girlfriend and, you know, a few other people and stuff like that, <clears throat> I, I appreciate it, man, I'm so happy that, you know, people watch my videos and feel that way, it's, it's amazing, man, it means a lot to me. Um, and I, I don't want no one to like get offended by this video or anything like that. Please don't get offended, man. I'm just, I'm just trying to understand what people want from me that they liked what I did before. You know what I mean? Like I had a lot of comments saying like, oh, you're going to get big. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, I don't really care about getting big. I don't care about fame. I really don't. Um, I'm never going to sell out. I'm never going to be someone I'm not. I'm always going to be someone who I am, but I am going to be myself, obviously. And you know, myself i have a lot of different personalities like i'm not like in a persona you know i'm not like being fake what i'm saying is like i like to be weird i like to be goofy you know what i mean i like to do noises like for instance i got a banana guard you want to hear my banana guard let's do my banana i am in a rain reindeer outfit <clears throat> okay here we go hi guys i'm banana guard uh do you guys have uh any more bananas with potassium you know what i mean like you know i just uh you know I don't know, may maybe I could voice for a banana guard, you never know! You never know! I could probably ha be like, hey guys, can I be on Adventure Time, please? Come on, I wanna be right there! I wanna be with Finn and Jake! You know what I mean? Like, you know, I, I just like doing voices and being weird and being dorky and... You know. um, but yeah, man, I'm going to be doing paranormal content in the future. I can't wait for that. 
Um, I am so confident in myself. I, I, I have a ex I have a soul. Like my soul. Um, I, I, I'm really explorative, you know what I mean? Explorate, exp I, I love exploring things and trying to find the truth. Like, that's what my videos are all about, right? And I've seen people that claim they're, I'll tell you the, the people, I'm not going to say they're fake, but the one thing I do recommend for people that are mediums, that claim they're mediums, is to stop doing reaction videos. Go do some, some readings, go do some videos with that because people want to see that. And I'm, I mean, I'm not saying people can't fake that. It's definitely possible to fake that. That's why I say don't don't just do reaction videos. Prove yourself real. Make videos. Show yourself that you're real. Because if you're just doing reaction videos, and that's just a little tip to people like that, right? But um, but yeah, man, these reaction videos. I mean, I got more coming in the future. You know what I mean? I got I got I got I don't I don't have it like you know guesstimated or whatever, predicted or whatever, right? But you know I do have some things I want to talk about, but I haven't I've been waiting talk about some things i got a video like i said november 1st make sure you watch that video um i do have to do one last little intro for that video it's like a beginning intro just to kind of because i did talk about it but i feel like i need to add a little more context to some stuff so um because i didn't really explain it in the video too much i kind of just like went straight forward into everything right so um but yeah this is your boy a1 solution the reindeer and we out here busting fuego, chewing bubblegum, kicking butt, saving the day, knowing it's half the battle. I gotta get back to my sleigh. I gotta get back to my sleigh. I gotta get back to Santa Claus. Nicholas. Say Nick. You know what I mean? I gotta go. I gotta go get those presents ready, man. We got Christmas in a couple months. By the way, I last thing to say, uh, I really do hope, man, everyone's having a great Halloween. A great spooky season. And uh, again, thank you everyone for watching my videos, and it means the world to me, man. Like, I, I don't think anyone would ever know what it feels like to be in this position. And it's definitely changed my life in a small way. Not not, not a big way, but, you know, it, it allowed me to have a more, more of a voice. And I appreciate that, because my whole life I've, I've always been shy, and, you know, I've never been able to be this kind of voice ever. Um, and I'm happy for that, man. It, it, it means way more than any, like I'm telling you, man, anyone would ever know. Maybe, maybe the people, maybe obviously the people that actually, you know, have been in this position before, but I'm, I'm telling you, man, like it's, it's a blessing, man. But regardless of that, hopefully you have a great day and, uh, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment down below and comment down below, you know. I do appreciate everyone. Hopefully you have a great day. Stay safe. Stay hydrated. Take care of yourself. I'm going to go to the snow. I got to go fly. I got to fly back to uh, the North Pole. You know what I'm saying? And um, thank you. Thank you for letting me be real. Thank you for watching me be real. Thank you for allowing me to be myself and not caring about what other people think about me because there's going to be haters. There's always going to be haters no matter what. No matter what you do, you, you could be the best person in the world, bro, and get taken down like a, you know, just a sand castle or something, you know, just you, you build something so beautiful and it gets taken down like that, right? But regardless of that, I got to go get my dog. My dog's outside. It's kind of hot outside. And then I got to go to the North Pole. And once I go to the North Pole, I'm going to grab myself some donuts. Hashtag Evan Butka. But anyways, though, overnight fam. Sam and Colby fam, all the fam, Paranormal fam, Franco fam, Kelsey Davies fam, uh, the Omar fam, the Chris Starr fam, the Twin Paranormal fam, uh, the Project Fear fam, the, you know, every, every fam out there exploring with Josh, exploring with fighters. Thank you guys so much for all your content. Your content means a lot more to you or to them than you, I'm telling you. Like, the feeling that we get as... As a community, as fans, is unreal. And it's, it's unmatched to some. Have a great day.